Okay, we are back with part two of the Dell monitor. Um, and we are going to start off with a request to see what actually smoked inside here. Um, now in the previous video when I was screwing around with the flyback, uh, it stopped working and we got a bunch of magic smoke out of here. I tried to peel it off, but this stuff is just like a razor blade. And you can see here that it's actually not there, sorry, right there and right there and there it's all soldered to this so in order to get the case out we're gonna have to get a little uh, creative and I'm not desoldering this so give me a second here okay so I was thinking during that break I'm uh, trying to figure what would be the gentlest way to get through this metal case and those soldered connections you know, should I use some snips? Should I just pull out the soldering iron? Um, it's boring. So uh, I made a quick run to my work van and I grabbed the uh, proper tool for such a uh, job. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use my uh, 75th anniversary Milwaukee Sawzall to get that off. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to capture this footage, but let's figure that out. <laughs> Okay, this is the best setup I think I can come up with here. So let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, right tool for the right job. That's easy enough. Let's see what's smoked in here. Oh, well, looks like we're going to have to dig a little bit deeper, because I'm not seeing what we're looking for. So, let's... Looks like we're just going to take this whole module thing off, but we got some wires that need some trimming. There. Piece of cake. Alright, well the answer is actually really uninteresting. Um, if we can see down here without getting too blinded by the light. There are, focus, right here. These two guys are charred black and then same with in between the two. Oh, you suck. Anyway, the board's crispy in between the two as well. Oh, hey, look at that, actually stayed focused. Yep. So, nothing super exciting. Let's uh let's get out the uh the MOT here and uh have a little fun. All right. It is the dead of night outside. It is currently 1:45 in the morning. And I am up to no good. So, this is the setup. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go a little bit extra. I am going to, as you can even see a little bit of the sandpaper material still left in there. Come on, focus. I'm going to quick solder on a wire to ground. And then I am going to, I sanded the transformer as well. And I'm going to just quick solder that on there. So hopefully I will be connected to the ground plane good enough to where pretty much anything I touch with the other end of the transformer should smoke. I have also brought out a mirror to see if anything that I do gets any kind of response out of the tube itself. So while the soldering iron, my, my beauty here, is heating up and I'm doing that, uh, I'll take another quick break. Okay. 
a couple of quick blobs of solder later and we are good to go that should hold it on there and same with that right there nothing pretty at all get her done so let's set it all up all right i think this is as good as it's gonna get for a view let's fire it up Quick test. All right, let's poke at this a little bit. Started on fire? Okay. The transformer is smoking already. Ugh. I'm gonna have to go get another transformer. Look at this thing, piece of shit. I had the phone taped. <laughs> She's done. Made in China. Alright, let's go get another one. Alright, back with transformer number two. Pick up where we left off. get some capacitors or something here. Oh, come on, dude. Is this transformer smoking now? What the fuck is going on here, dude? I'm barely even doing anything. I'm barely doing anything. Stop smoking. Oh, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. Everything is overheating on me. It's not cooperating. Fucking piece of shit. You can hear a thing fucking sizzling, man. Come on. It's not gonna cooperate for me here. Now this guy's going nuts. It's two transformers in like two minutes. What are you fucking doing to me here? Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. Oh, it stinks to high hell. Piece of shit. Alright, let's try to find something we can zap here before it dies completely. There we go. Is that a big cap? Is that a big cap that we can... M.O.T. I barely knew you. Let's put you out of your misery for good. <laughs> oh boy! That's the end of that, huh? Unplug it. And we're just gonna let it burn because that's the fate it chose and that's the fate it deserves cook you cheap Chinesium garbage so did the Dell monitor win is this like a draw I mean it's kicked two of these transformers asses Huh. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is to uh, teach that tube a lesson, huh? You can see in my hands I'm shaking from when that thing flashed over. That was cool. All right, let me clean this up and then uh, we'll go smash this. Oh, really quick, I thought I would take a quick shot of these windings here. Ah, hot. Look at that. Just pulled them right off when I pulled the leads off. I don't know which one's white and which one's black anymore. They look the same to me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Garbage. All right. What better way to smash this thing than with the transformer that burnt to a crisp? Our little, our little crispy friend right here. It's still hot to the touch. Obviously, I have to do this in the dumpster because of where I live. So I apologize. I can't get too crazy like a sledgehammer in a parking lot. But here goes nothing. Wow. All right, YouTube. We finally got it done. Dell monitor destroyed. All right. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video.